So hi, good afternoon everyone. I am Sheila Baharo and I'm with my partner Mr. Vince Chick Hob Nicoleta. Today we are going to tackle or to discuss about one of the most notable and articulate Indian novelist, journalist and an editor, Miss Anurad Haroy, and also one of his um, ideal and excellent literary work, a novel entitled The Folded Earth. I hope it's clear now what we will discuss for today. Let's move forward to the objectives. So, at the end of the lesson, you students are expected to apprehend author's life and its written works, analyze and explain the history and significance of the novel, show the mastery of the lesson through writing a critical analysis of the literary text. So before we move on to the proper discussion, let's first have a uh, motivational activity or an activity one. It's called Rebuild Me. This activity is connected to our topic for today because I will be giving jumbled words and those jumbled words are examples of literary piece written by the author I'm going to discuss for today. I'm really sure that this activity will really awaken your um, inner self or yung mga kaluluwa ninyo. Char. So yon, let's begin with the first title of a certain literary piece. In answering, you can pause the video so that you can clearly think what the word really is. Let's now reveal the answer. It is an atlas of impossible longing. But wait, there's more. <laughs> this game has a game. Um, an activity rather. This activity has a twist. As you can see, there is a picture there and it is the cover of that book. And then, I'll just ask one student or any anyone who can answer what was the book all about according to its cover and its title. Any guess? There's no wrong answer because it was your understanding, own understanding of the book. You can put your answers or place your answers on the comment box below or in our GC. And then I will just check it and record it. I have prepared three jumbled words and then the process is the same as the first one. So just pause the video and answer um, it and as I've said, send it to our GC or the comment box below. Let's proceed to the um, proper discussion. Hello again, I'm Sheila Bahara. I hope you're doing great today. Today, we're going to take a glimpse about a famous Indian novelist and one of his literary pieces. Biography She was christened as Susanna Arundhati Roy, but she dropped her first name. She was born on November 24, 1961 at Shilong, Meghalaya, India. She was an Indian novelist journalist and an editor she was educated and at informal school corpus christi set up by her mother she studied literature at presidency college of calcutta and cambridge university her mother's name is mary roy a syrian christian from kerala who became a social activist her father is a Bengal Hindu and was a tea planter who worked in the Northeast. She has also been an architect, a scriptwriter, an actress, and a journalist, and is now well known as an essayist, a forceful speaker, a social activist, and a feminist. All her novels have received worldwide recognition. In this, later on, we will know... Um, his awards received. She has co-founded a publishing house. Uh, this publishing house is named as Permanent Black. It started in 2000. The publication house has over 300 books in print and has published the region's most eminent scholars. Anuradha is fond of reading crime fiction and has a huge collection of books on her shelf. One of the book is The Sound of the Mountain by Yesunari Kabawata, one of the books she keeps returning to. 
I just omit the last one, so let's proceed to the second. Anurad had developed an interest in writing when she was a kid. She got her work published in a few Indian newspapers when she was just 14. As the last one, Anurad enjoys pottery and painting when she is not reading or writing yet another bestseller. So when she is not writing or designing, she paints on furniture, um, kettles, plates, and bowls. And does pottery, getting herself immersed in all-consuming regime of preparing clay and making glazes. Kumbaga, ito yung leisure activity niya when she's not writing any literary piece. Now we are done taking a glimpse of the colorful life of Miss Anurad Haroy. Now, are you ready? As I take you with me and as I enter the heartening literary pieces written by Miss Anurad Haroy. Okay, let's begin with the first one entitled An Atlas of Impossible Longing. It was published on April 5, 2011. The genre is literary fiction. Pages 320 and the publisher is Simon and Scotter, a publishing house probably in India. The novel is a story of loss, love, hope, longings, and desires. This novel has three parts of the book correspond to the three generations of the family. The first one is Amulya and Kananbala. The second one is The Folded Earth. The genre is literary fiction, pages 269, publisher Hashat Inja, publication date April 24, 2012. This novel will be more emphasized by my partner later on. To give a brief background about this novel, its theme is about love and nature. It is about a two lovers. And then the main protagonist here is Maya. The third novel is entitled Sleeping on Jupiter. The genre, literary fiction, pages 256, publisher Hashet Inja, and publication date April 15, 2015. The theme of this novel is violence, and the main protagonist or character is Nomi or Numita. This novel revolves around violence against women and sexual abuse. Another is it exposed the endless treacherous hypocrisies or hypocrisies of Indian society. The fourth one is entitled All the Lives We Never Lived. Publication date October 15, 2019. Pages 288. Genre Fiction. Publisher Washington Square. When it comes to this novel, it talks about a poignant and sweeping novel set in India during World War II. And its main protagonist is a male named Mishkin. The book explores themes of childhood trauma, the pain of separation, loneliness, and guilt. The last one is entitled The Earth Spinner. Publication date September 9, 2021, pages 224, genre fiction, and publisher is Mountain Leopard. This novel is about the two lovers having different ethnicity or race. Elango is Hindu and Sara is Muslim. They are the main protagonists here. After taking a glimpse of some of the notable literary pieces of Miss Anurad Haroy, let's proceed to the awards he had received. The first one, DSC Prize for Fiction. In this award, it is the DSC Prize for South Asian Literature 2016 for her novel, Sleeping on Jupiter, which deals with the subject of violence against women. The second one is the Croward Prize. About the Work of Miss Anurad Haroy entitled The Folded Earth, published in 2011. She had won the Economist Crossword Prize in this premiere for fiction. The third one is the Tata Book of the Year Award. In this award, she received it because of also her novel, 
entitled All the Lives We Never Lived. The fourth one is also awarded to her because of the novel All the Lives We Never Lived, which is the shortlisted for the International Dublin Literary Award. And the last award, long listed for the Man Booker Prize and Man Asia Prize. In the last award, she received it also because of um, her novel entitled Sleeping on Jupiter. Now that we already know who is Anurad Haroy, his literary works and the awards she have received, do you have any clarifications, questions, or anything? If you don't have, let's proceed to a activity 2, which is a quiz B. So the mechanics of this activity is that I will divide you or the class into 7 groups. And then I am going to require each group to have them a blank paper together with a ball pen or a marker. Each group will answer the following questions I will be giving and as follows, I will count 1 to 5. And after I counted 1 to 5, each answer should be given by group. And then winners will be exempted to the first 5 items in the short quiz later on. Okay, now we're done having the activity 2, the quiz B. It's fun or it's, it's good to know that you have learned something from the discussion a while ago let's proceed to the second discussion which is the folded earth written by miss anurad haroy and it will be discussed by my partner mr vince j Jacob nicoletta so good morning for each and everyone i am your next reporter and i was about to tackle the literary piece nor novel made by anurad roy which uh, Michelle uh, discussed a while ago, and this entitled The Unfolded Earth, Excerpt India. So let me discuss to you all the highlights of this novel. Well, The Folded Earth is an evocative and deeply moving tale of a young woman making a new life for herself amid the foothills of the Himalaya, desperate to leave a private tragedy behind. Maya abandons herself to the rhythms of the little village where people coexist peacefully with nature, but all is not as it seems. And she soon learns that no refuge is remote enough to keep out the modern world. When power-hungry politicians threaten her beloved mountain community, Maya finds herself caught between the life she left behind and the new home she is determined to protect. Elijah, witty and profound by turns, and with a tender love story at its core, the folded earth brims with the same genius and love of language that made an atlas of impossible longing and international success. So, since this is a long, long story, we should summarize it by finding those literary elements in the story for us to make it shorter. Um, anyway, let me emphasize for you all about literary elements. So, who is familiar with it? Who's familiar with, um, with literary elements? <laughs> Um, a literary element or narrative element or element of literature is an essential characteristic of all works of written and spoken narrative fiction. Literary includes setting, character, plot, conflict, theme, point of view, and of course, the tone. So, what is setting? A setting is where and when is the story set? Setting represents both the physical location but also the time, example, past, present, and the future, and the social and cultural conditions in which the characters exist. Or in the other term, setting is the location and time frame in which the action of a narrative takes place. It is also known as the backdrop. Or... Um, a story setting can be drawn from imagination or based on historic events and as well as geographical location in the real world. Next in line is character. Character is a person or animal or really anything personified. There can be one main character or many. 
and often there are secondary characters but not always. Or in the other meaning of this character, characters are essential to a good story and it, it, and it is the main characters that have the greatest effect on the plot are the most affected by the events of the story. And also, are you all um, familiar with the word plot in the literary elements? So if you are, it is the meaning of plot. The plot consists of the events that happen in the story. In a plot, you typically find an introduction, rising action, a climax, the falling action, and the resolution. Plot is often represented as an arc, and it is to learn about plot in detail, read the article, what is a plot. The plot of a story is the sequence of events that shape a broader narrative with every event causing or affecting each other. In other words, plot is a series of causes and effects which shape the story as a, as a whole. And the next literary element is conflict. Every story must have a conflict. Example, challenge or problem around which the plot is based. Without conflict, the story will have no purpose or trajectory. Conflict precisely uh, means thwarted, endangered, or opposing desire. Next in line is the theme. The theme is idea, belief, moral, lesson, or insight. It is the central argument that author is trying to make the reader understand. The theme is the why of the story, not literally, not literally um, the letter Y. Capital letter WHY or bucket nyata. <laughs> or in the other term, the theme is, um, it can be defined as the underlying meaning of a story. It is the message the writer is trying to convey through the story. Often, um, the theme of a story is a broad message about life. The theme of a story is important because a story's theme is part of the reason why the author wrote the story. So how about the point of view? What is point of view or po? Um, this literary element, point of view, is trying to answer the word who. Who is telling the story? So as what you can read um, in the PowerPoint, to um, elaborate it furthermore, first person is using I or we perspective. Second person is using you perspective. And the third person is using he, she, it, they perspective. And the last literary element is tone. This is the overall emotional tone or meaning of the story. Is it happy, funny, sad, depressed? Ganern. Tone can be portrayed in multiple ways through word and grammar choices. Choice of theme, imagery, and description, symbolism, and the sounds of the words in combination. Example, the rhyme, the rhythm, and the musicality. The significance of tone is uh, it will help us um, to better relate to the audience's emotions, needs, wants, and interests. The better you can relate to them, the stronger their engagement with your content will be. Tone can build a connection between reader and writer or reader and brand by, elic um, by eliciting an emotional response from the reader. And that is the seven literary elements of a story. So since I've talked about literary elements, it's now, it's now your turn to find it by doing summary writing. This could be our activity 3. Okay, thank you Mr. Vince Nicoletta. Let's now proceed to the application or to the assessment of your learnings. You have to answer a 10-item quiz and then your answers will be sent or should be sent through our GC. And for your assignment, you have to research or to find one notable or any writer in Asia. Goodbye, class. And thank you for listening. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone.